Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. It is Squishy Chop and Chop right now. We got part two of my sister's homemade squishies to chop. Let's do it. Bittersweet. <laughs> that is the only way I can describe this, you guys. Little upset right now because I have the final three homemades my sister Taylor made. She came for my birthday this past weekend and I only see her like three, four times a year. She made me these babies. They look so, so cool. I mean, look at this one. <laughs> it looks like a peacock or some kind of bird. She's gonna be good. Bubble, you realize once you chop open all of Taylor's homemades, there's no more left. What are you gonna do? Normally, my best friend and neighbor Colleen, she is my squishy maker, but last video and this video, these are from my sister and they're so super special to me. She makes them super good. I mean, this one, this one is a little tough. I don't know what she put in there. We also have this little like hot orange. Ooh, looks like a stopper. It's so cool. And I know these are Orbeez, but what else is in there? I feel something. On my last squishy chop video, Taylor also brought me this pink poopy princess cup. This time she found another one. I don't even know where she gets these. It is brown, it's got all these little poop emojis, and there's something in there. I have not peeked, I promise. Gonna check that out too. And the final two little squishy teeny things we're gonna be looking at today are actually from Colleen. She got them on her recent trip to Japan. Look at these, you guys. These are actually squishy, stretchy meats. Bubble, like squishy, stretchy ham rib with butter, or like raw steak. So weird. Hmm, now every once in a while, you can buy some weird kind of squishy toy, and I would have to put these in that category. I mean, look at these, you guys. There is a piece of like grilled steak and a raw steak. Little squishy things, gonna chop those. So we did the intro, we looked at all this stuff. The only thing I really don't know is what is inside of the poopy cup, but we're gonna find that out. I got my shizzies ready, my little plaids. And if you guys are ever gonna do this at home, just make sure you have an adult or parent supervising. We don't know what's in these squishes. And the scissors are really sharp. Let's do this. Oh, let's do this, Bubba. Let's like pop open all the homemade and then deal with like the squishy meat. Okay. Hey everybody, kicking it off with a Taylor homemade. She makes them so, so cute. She finds actually the cutest balloons. Look at this one, I've never seen one like that. But we got to deal with this neon orange with all these sparkles. It's like little pieces of gold. Pretty. But are you joking? It looks like 24 carat in there, seriously. And it matches your nails. Ooh, I like this one. I like the feel to it. It's like a super thin balloon, almost like one of those little water bombs, those water balloons. And it feels so jelly-like. And there is something in the middle. I don't know what it is, but I feel little pieces of something. I just can't see them. Let's pop this thing. Uh, let me do the honors. Let me flip this around. And we are going for explosion with your plans. I think it's gold, Bubba. We got the golden slime. Oh, that is shiny. You guys, look at this shiny golden slime putty, whatever it is. Oh, she makes it so good. Taylor, I had no clue. She's like, let me make you some squishies because I make the best slime. She wasn't joking. Look at this stuff. Ew, there's something in there. I thought it was little poopy faces. We got this little monkey. Are you joking? We got little monkeys inside of the golden, the golden slime. That is the ultimate golden slime, Bubba. And there's like tons of little, little monkeys. Like, Squishy gets an A plus plus plus. I mean, I love everything about it. I like this balloon. I love the slime, and I love the creativity. She put these little monkeys. I have never seen these, and they are so so miniature. They are so tiny. Oh, where she found these little things? Look at that. I'm seriously trying to sort all of this out. It's crazy. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little little monkeys in this party. It's beautiful. So weird. Yeah. Oh, it's super amazing how all of these little monkeys are different. Like, what is going on? This one is like, he's doing a backflip. This one over here, let me see, covered in slime. 
He is just, he's a cute one. There are just too many of these things, and the closer you look at them, they are super detailed, but they're just so tiny. So tiny, they all have different poses. I'm thinking these are the little monkeys on the bed jumping around. Oh, these are definitely the monkeys jumping on the bed. And this one, he looks like Curious George. He really does. <laughs> Very nice, I've never seen a squishy like this. Couldn't have been any better. Moving along right now. Oh no, Bubble, what do we have here? Another Taylor homemade. This one is bumpy and nice. Uh-oh, after that last one, I'm actually kind of excited because she makes some good old homemade. Look at this one here. Now, when I see this, why, I don't know why, it reminds me of grapes. It reminds me of like a bushel of grapes. We got all these pastel orbies going on here. Look at that. Bubble, when I do this, like that, it reminds me of a fidget spinner. It totally, like, takes away all my anxiety. Look at that. Look at all those little orbies. Crazy. Homemade fidget spinner. Ooh, and I'm liking this, you know, because normally the orbies are, like, those darker colors. These are all pastel. I see, like, purple and blue. Really spring-like. So comfy. I don't know what to say. I feel really bad about this. Tell Taylor I'm sorry, but I'm chopping up her squishy. Here goes. Get ready for Orby's explosion. <laughs> oh, I just had an explosion on my testing table. I rounded up some of these Orbeez. I got about a thousand on the floor. And I got little monster hot girl. Taylor gave you a Monster High mini doll that looks like a baby doll. She is beautiful. What is her name? Ah! And I do love me some Monster High. I love the Monster High girls, although I have to say I don't know who this little one is. She's so cute. She's got like white hair with a little bit of highlights. If you little bubble teens know who this is, just leave me a comment. I need to know. So cute. She actually matches the color of those Orbeez, all those little pastels. Monster High Mini is ultra pastel. She like blends in with the Orbeez, like, like spring colors. Not only do I love this little toy she put in there, so cute kind of matches. These Orbeez are beautiful. They look like little jewels. They are actually huge. They are the size of gumballs. She must have soaked these for a long time because I have never seen Orbeez this big. They're beautiful. This one is regular poopy color. It's not a princess. So on my previous video where I was chopping up Taylor Squishy, she had brought me this pink emoji princess cup. Now I have this one here from her. I don't know where. I think she got them at Walmart. I think she told me I don't remember, but they are adorable. There's like a little spot for a straw if you want to drink out of it. And she put something squishy inside. Hopefully. Let's check it. Oh, she better put something squishy inside. Or like, what's the point? What's the point of this plastic poopy cup? You know? Let's she twist. Ooh. What is that? That's like... It's like poopy play -Doh. Hmm. Last time she had filled this up with some homemade poop slime. This time she put some little goodies in here. <gasps> you guys, this is so cute. I love these. This is like a Sento's scented Play-Doh. And looking at this, it looks like it's chocolate. Or like chocolate chip scented. That's so cool. And what is this? Watermelon. Take a closer look, Bubba. That's not watermelon. That is watermelon slime. A putty or something. It's oh, she is the best. She knows me so well. She knows I love all these cutesy little things. And these two are really cool. I've never seen them. Let's look at this fruit slime. Look at this watermelon slice. That is so, so cool. I wonder if it's scented. Check it out. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, you got to be joking. Like, get Taylor back and ask her where she got this watermelon slime putty. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Whoa, this is wild, you guys. I had no clue what this was going to feel like. <gasps> so cool. So this is the little container. You got the watermelon rind. You got this little piece with the seeds. And what made all that pink color was actually the slime. Kind of mixed between a putty and a slime, but it is so ultra pearly. Look at that. 
Whoa. <laughs> I'm in love with this thing. Dear Bubba, I'm in love with this thing because it is the real watermelon color. It looks like watermelon juice with pearls. Look how pearly it is. It's beautiful. I can't get over it. I can't get over this pink color. I can't get over the texture. Oh, it's so super soft. Stop myself, I can literally squish this all day. I mean, I always see that, but this is just the prettiest. It's actually scented. If you can believe it smells like watermelon, it smells like fruit. Oh, it's so, so cool. And when you want to store it, I guess you just pop it back in this little plastic case. Genius. That is like the most genius little, little case I've ever seen. Look at that. Not enough with the watermelon slime already. We got to get to the chocolate, the chocolate dough. Look at that. Now we got to look at this one here. Oh, it's so, so cool. It's so weird because it kind of has that brown color. I hope it's not poopy scented. It looks more like a chocolate or like an ice cream. Let's see. I know these scentos usually smell so, so good. Ooh, a cookie dough. Oh, this is chocolatey heaven. This is chocolatey chip cookie dough dough. You know what I mean? It is like... Let me just say, I have had probably four or five different Sentos ones. I've had the fruit, but I have never smelled this chocolate. And basically, I mean, this smells like brownie batter, cake batter. Oh, it's squishy, too. It's got a really good texture, and oh, it's too good. It's, it just smells like cookie dough. Bubble, this basically smells more like cookie dough, a brownie dough, than the real thing, which is kind of weird because you can't eat it. It's just, it's just for squishing. Isn't that weird? This is a first. I have never had a piece of slime or Play-Doh that I literally just, oh, I want to eat this. It's so, it smells so, so good. I don't know how they gave it that chocolatey, chocolatey scent. There's really not even like a hint of the Play-Doh, like that salty Play-Doh scent. Not at all. It's fudgy, chocolate chippy. Oh, having something like this around isn't a good thing because it makes you want chocolate cake every time you squish it. Super bad. Mm, the color is spot on. Looks like brownies. Scented sweaty poop. <laughs> Yummy! So there you go. Inside of the poopy cup, we get some chocolate chippy scented play doh. So so weird. And some scented watermelon slime. Very nice. Oh, everything going on right here is super nice. It's squishy. It smells good. Like, what more could you want? We still got one more Taylor homemade left, but we gotta look at these meats. We gotta look at these little squishy meat packages. I mean, you guys, these are insane. They are so, so rare. I mean, I don't think you would find these anywhere but Japan. I've never seen anything like this in the mall or at Walmart or the regular stores at Shepet. Take a look at this. I wonder if it's scented. Oh, so cute. It's like a little keychain. Oh, are you serious? Like raw meat keychain? He wants it. That's good. Plus your second little steak on a keychain. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so, so cool. I mean, that looks like miniature food. It looks so real. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out which one of these two I like. I think I like this one a little more because it looks like real. This has that package, like at the grocery store. Oh, but this is a little more squishy. Check it out. Oh, didn't you get it? This one's more squishy because it's raw. It is raw, uncooked crown lid or something like that. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like bacon. Altinis, what in the world am I holding in my hand right now? It looks like a little sliver of meat, like a little piece of steak, getting ready to make a fajita or something. I don't know what this is, but I love it. I love it because it's squishy, it looks like food, and it's so weird. It's just so, ugh. 
can't describe it. I don't even know if I want to chop it, you guys. It's just so, so cute. It goes back in that little package. I can hang this from a purse today if I wanted. It's like the weirdest looking thing. Be a conversation piece, that's for sure. <laughs> if anyone saw this. Maybe we'll just chop this one. This is so cute. Oh, if you go and hang this from your purse or your keys, somebody's gonna think you are like a butcher or something. A butcher. No way. It goes. Let's slice some meat. Crunchy. Ooh, bubble. And then you finish it up. Let's make little tidbits. Cut the butter pad. Ooh, I love the I love the snap on it. Looks like I got some chopped up steak on my testing table. Look at this, you guys. It's so, so crazy. It's still squishy. It's just this, like, kind of medium squishy rubber. The end piece was crazy. It looked like rare beef. I just love it. I love everything about it. But I can't chop this one. It's too cute. It's too rare. No way. Oh, clean this up. Your chopping block is looking like a butcher shop right now. Clean it up. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm super sad right now. I am sad, you guys, because this is my final Who Made from my sissy Taylor. I don't have any more. This is the final one. And gotta chop it. My last memory. Until the next time. Oh, chopping up Taylor's Who Made is literally like chopping up the memories of her last visit. Don't do it. Or do it. Whatever. This homemade squishy ball that looks like a bird feather has a baby squishy. So cute. Yeah. Uh, I cannot make a guess right now. I don't know what is in here, you guys. It's super firm, though. It's not as squishy as the first balloon with the little monkeys. This is kind of like... It's tough. I guess we gotta do it. We gotta chop it up. Ruin this beautiful homemade. Let's do it. Oh, just quit crying about it and chop it up. Let's chop it. Oh. Ooh. I think it's like... Galaxy! Hurry up, Bubble. She put, like, galaxy slime in Shadow's homemade. Like, tons of it. Tons. Look at that. Wow, we got some more slime. Oh, you guys, look at this. I think she put some galaxy slime. I see a ninja turtle. I think she's got Orbeez. This thing is very complicated. <laughs> Check it out. Eee. So, so pretty. Let me do this bubble, because it's going to literally take you a month. Let me take out the galaxy slime and like whatever Taylor put in this beautiful balloon. Let's see. Ooh. It's heavy. Oh, that is a big old hunk of slime right in front of me right now. Oh, it's like a slime putty. This is so beautiful. I mean, the golden one was nice. Here's a little piece. This one has a different look. Very pretty. Who is this? Oh, the surprise inside of this slime is a little Barbie playing a guitar with a beautiful ponytail. She is gorgeous. Ooh, you guys, last time she made me some slime, she put these little Care Bear fashions. Now we got some different ones. We got a little Barbie. Ooh, we got... I think it's Leo. I've got to show you something. Mashems are so much better than fashions. Mashems squish like this. Look at that, crazy squish. But fashions, like, don't. They're just like hard pieces of rubber. Ugh. Ooh, tons of layers going on. We have green Orbeez, beautiful slime, and a bunch of different little fashions. Making a collection here. Ooh, yes. Look at this one, oh, I love it. Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pinkie Pie! You better chop Pinkie Pie, Bubble. You better, you better. There's one more trapped in there, and it looks like, oh, I know who this is, the Joker. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so cool. It's like pearly. Oh, look at what I 
what we got here. We got two fashions, two mashems, and you are going to chop the Joker because I don't like green eyebrows. Chop him. Chop me! Chop me! Well, all three of these are good guys, and we got an evil one. So I'm gonna chop this baby up. But before we do that, just look at this slime. It's beautiful. Before you look at the slime, pop open the little baby bubble. Ooh, love that. Joker man, oh he has the craziest face ever. A bunch of water or some kind of clear liquid popped out. That was cool. Chop him up a little more. Oh, I just have to do it. I have to chop that little green pointy hair and that green eyebrow. Can't take it. Ugh. Well guys, that is a wrap. My squishy chopping block looks beautiful right now. So many cutesy little things. And I really loved every single thing here. I can't complain about any of it. I love this watermelon slime, this little monkey putty or whatever it is. And we are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you wanna subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.